you know more about the international IP player on Burma issue. What we achieve now is a global consensus for the arm embargo, and also that that is the you know like the election outcome and targeted uh, economic sanctions. Are they are they possible? What your view? Yes, they are. Uh, provided China doesn't veto. Sanctions have to be agreed to by the Security Council. Uh, when I was in the Iraq job, I mean, I, we worked under the sanction regime that was specifically determined by the Security Council. Um, and the reason for that is that only the Security Council's decisions are binding on member states. The General Assembly's decisions are recommendations only. But the Security Council calls upon all states to cease and desist from any arms trade with Burma. That's mandatory under international law. It doesn't mean that some won't violate it or there won't be some black market. But that's as tough as it gets. A Security Council decision is mandatory under international law. All member states are obliged to comply with this. Same is true with sanctions on financial transactions with Burma or with the generals. So that make classic instrument that's used in cases like this is to shut down the financial transactions of the leading figures. You say that they're interested in their own comfort. Well, it would get their attention if they went to the bank and the bank told them you can't have any money anymore. So, I mean, it's my money. So, you know, under international law, it's frozen. You can't have it anymore. That would get their attention. Those things are possible. I think they're probably desirable. Sanctions can hurt the ordinary person a little bit. That's why you make a lot of financial transactions, not on food or on medicine, but on financial things, for example. But uh, they won't be agreed to if China doesn't agree to them. It is, it, it is a shocking reality that the source of the problem in Burma is the generals. But the key to the solution, or unlocking the problem, is actually China. It makes it a, a complex issue. A lot has to be done with China. Now, China will not fix this problem unless it gets something in return. Um, you know, I. It's not to say something particularly bad about China. It doesn't make them different from everybody else. Many other countries operate in the same way. But China, China will not, in my opinion, will not be talked out of its current Burma policy unless it can see a benefit to doing so, a benefit larger than the losses that it would incur if its special relationship with the generals, especially around mineral and energy resources, is not replaced by something else, some other, some other opportunity. What, if you hear me saying something that is rather unsentimental and very real politic, then you are hearing correctly. The Chinese have no sentiment about this. Whatever they might say in nice speeches about uh, the sovereignty of, the, of the, each state over its own domestic affairs, uh, its great affection for the people of Burma, etc., etc. Nothing of that sentimentality is true. It is about interests, and they have interests in Burma and its mineral and energy resources, but also strategically in its relationship with India that it would have to... They play, want to play out as the buffer zone. That's right. yeah. they, they, for them to change their Burma policy, they need to see <coughs> that that change will bring them some benefits that are worth having. There's an opinion about the recent sale of nuclear missiles and things by North Korea. The negotiations with Burma and try to sell something. Uh, the North Korean government is uh, one of the most difficult to understand 
uh, today. They are truly eccentric. Uh, they, again, are without principles, they're interested in making money out of their missile and nuclear technology, but they're also very interested in calling attention to themselves as a serious power that needs to be dealt with by the United States in a much more respectful fashion. Um, their cooperation, sadly, their cooperation with the Burmese generals springs uh, from no particular affection for the generals, but from a perceived utility. They perceive that the generals are useful to them in advancing their policy of being an extreme irritant to the United States and making money out of their uh, reasonable, it's not very advanced, but their, their reasonably advanced missile and nuclear technology. Thank you so much. We are running out of time. Any questions? We are really limited time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.